Hello there, today we're going to tie this. This is going to be a small flat wing sand eel and we're going to use some of these really really awesome awesome new uh, pro, uh, pro eyes um, and we're going to use these as, as sides and this is going to make this fly even more easy to tie. So first of all I'm going to apply a hook here and, uh, and the hook I'm using is, is the, pro, uh, the the Eric's Gamma Rose, Curved Gamma Rose, a very nice hook for something like this. So I'm going to use a monofilament thread. Basically, that's very nice always for your uh, for your uh, your baitfish patterns because it has a very wide hook gape. So so this really really uh, this really really hooks well. We're not going to use that many materials. We're going to use the eyes, of course, some glue, some bucktail in two different colors, and some uh, some flat wing feathers. So bas uh, basically, first up, we're going to take some uh, some bucktail here in white, and uh, and the key element to 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 these uh, these flies is that you do not use too much material. If you use too much material, of course, if if the size is is if if you're going to tie this in in a big size, then you need more material. But 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 for this, this is going to be a fairly small one. I don't need that many materials. So first of all, I'm going to tie down this bundle of white bucktail. And the trick with bucktail is to have an even surface to tie down then it will not you know tilt upwards and uh, and to ensure that furthermore you simply you simply make the first turn of the bucktail with the tying thread the first two turns or so you do not really clamp down on the thread apply a minimum of pressure then it will stay there and you can always clamp down on it further on no nope, just going to cut that off so it's out of the way like that i'm going to cut it off so it's it's up uh, near the eye. Then we're going to use two uh, flat wing feathers and, uh, and I have big whiting flat wing uh, saddles in the shop both in, in full saddles but also in half and these are just insanely big but I also have the option that you can buy a package of these with a lot of feathers for a lot of flies but, but then you don't have to buy a, a full or, or half a cape. So I'm going to take two of these feathers here Um, and, and the idea about the, the flat wing is that these swims absolutely astoundingly in the water. The, the, the hackles here looks just so, so awesome um, and, and really, really makes this fly swim, swim very, very nicely. So I tie one down using the tip. So it's, it's pointing, it has the, the upper side of, uh, that didn't work as, as, I was, as I was planning for it, so I'm just going to cut it off instead, like so. Um, and then I'm going to tie this so it's uh, the, 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 s the, the shiny side of the feather is going to be uh, pointing in towards the hook here. So uh, the, the natural tapering of this will be away from the hook. So it will, if you look from, from the front, the, the, the feathers will, will kind of go out into, into a V-shape, like that. And then I'm going to take the other feather it roughly the same length, perhaps a bit longer or a bit shorter. Again, tied on the side here, like so. And there you have uh, the, the basic part of the fly. Then I'm going to take an olive one, or a grizzly olive, or, or whatever you have. Uh, chartreuse would be nice as well. And I'm going to tie this so again so so the 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 shiny part of the feather the feather that's the, the side that's pointing upwards when you're when you're when you're picking it from the saddle uh, this time needs to be facing downwards like that and there you have the base of the fly cut off those again so it's going to be fairly as evenly as as up to as up to the eye because we need all of this material uh, later on just gonna do like that. So now we're gonna use a small bundle of white bucktail again. Where did I put that? Here it is. Again, not a very big bundle. We do not want this to be too big and too too dominant. And again, these sh should not be as long as. Uh, as as the f the feathers two safe turns and then 
applying a bit more pressure. And these will will now we have a bundle on top and a uh, and a bundle underneath, and these will help ensure that uh, that the feathers here they will not tangle with the rest of uh, the, the with, with the hook bend, like so. And then I'm going to apply a small amount of flash abu dubbing. Oh, we need some uh, we need some flash as well. Just going to take a two strands or so of uh, of, uh, of uh, this uh, Chris, this ascent flash from Heron. Just one on each side to give it a bit of flash effect. Not much, but a bit. And then I'm going to use a small, small amount of uh, of, uh, of flash abu dubbing, simply just to to give this kind of like a body, but a small, small, small amount, just to give it a nice and shiny body uh, from from when you see it from from below. That's where the fish will see it, <laughs> like this. I need a bit more, but as I as I said, I cannot stress enough that this needs to be a very 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 small amount of, uh, of of dubbing that you apply, because we do not want this to be too thick. Definitely not want this to be too thick. And I'm doing this dubbing here all the way up to the head. And then I'm going to go a bit further back. Cut off all those annoying strands because they will really, really mess up the the glue part of this fly. Not as much on this because we will have the eyes to help form the perfect body. But as you can see, now I'm I'm about a little from from the head, and that's where I'm going to tie in my my second bundle of uh, of bucktail, and I'm going to tie that down there on top of the dubbing because that will ensure that it stays in the right place. Um, because if you tie this down on top of the dubbing, it will it will have a good base to uh, to to be located, and uh, and it will not stick uh, up into the air. So I'm using some bucktail here. That this is fluorescent uh, fluorescent chartreuse. Trying to get it around the body, but not uh, completely. Uh, but not uh, not all the way around because we want this basically to be kind of the sides but also on the top but not on the bottom part like that and as you will see this will also form the top layer of this fly giving uh, this fly when you look at it uh, from from above the greenish hue and uh, and from below you will have the the pearly dubbing Just cutting off all the all the stops there, like so. And then I'm gonna take the eyes here, the cool, cool new eyes. These comes in four different colors: chartreuse, orange, yellow, uh, gold, and and the silver one. And both the silver one and uh, and the chartreuse here will will be nice for these. But I'm gonna pick the chartreuse one for 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 this one. So I'm going to place these on the sides and I'm going to tie it down so uh, the coloring of this, and never mind that it sticks out a bit now, uh, and that, so that the coloring will start just above, uh, just, just, just where the head starts. There is some, uh, some, some glue on the, on the back of these, so they're sticky. And make sure that these are the same length, which is about there, I would say. Yeah. Oh, one of them is longer than the other one.
there we go and I'm gonna cut off the the leftover stump here of uh, of I The good thing about these is, as soon as I start applying the glue, you'll see how easy it is to get these to, to be in the right place, because, um, because I will be able to hold these back, like that. Gotta tie this down with my monofilament, like so, and then I'm gonna make a whip finish. cut off my thread and basically now you take your eyes and you hold them exactly in the in the in the place where you want them with with the, your fingers and then you apply the glue and uh, I'm using the loon uh, the loon uh, thick one for this because it's 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 <laughs> well basically it's thick so it's easy to work with And I must say, I'm, I'm really, really becoming a fan of this loon, loon stuff. Basically, I'm a fan of all the loon products. So I'm going to apply a small amount of glue here. And, uh, and the reason why I'm using only a small amount is because what I want to do now is I want to, to start the shape of the head. But basically, what, I, what, I, what is my main goal is to ensure that my eyes are in the right location before I apply any of the uh, any of the light it really really is nice this uh, this loon UV glue it's it's very very easy to work with and it's it really is uh, it really is um, it really is very clear once you uh, apply the apply the the light here So basically now I have the shape of my head and uh, <coughs> now I can just start applying more glue here to, to the top side and also to the bottom. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use some glue to form the head up here and, and to form it a bit further back than, than normally because I want this here, this head to have, um, to, to, to help uh, support the materials so they do not get entangled in the hook bend. And I can see I have some some dubbing and a bit of bucktail sticking out. I don't want that, so I cut that off. And then basically I I go to to the underside of this and and apply more glue, forming my head in completely the right shape. And again, make sure you manipulate this correctly before you apply the light. Now that's a good, that was a good portion there. So I apply the light. And then more glue. And we'll rinse and repeat until you're satisfied with the, with the look of, of, of the fly here. And, uh, and you're done. This part takes a bit of time, but it's well worth the effort because uh, it will really make your fly swim uh, swim great and also make your fly look astounding out in the water. And well, basically, there you have it. I'm going to apply a bit more here to just to make this head completely correct in the shape. But basically, the fly is done now.
like so. And you have the fluorescence of uh, of the uh, of the chartreuse, uh, the chartreuse, uh, uh, the chartreuse bucktail. You have the 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 long swimming fins out here uh, due to the uh, due to the uh, flat wing feathers, and uh, and it's fairly easy to cast this. And because of the glue, it will have the correct weight to to bounce correctly and and swim swim great. So uh, well, basically, ah, that's it. <laughs> A great, nice-looking little sand eel. Thank you for tuning in.